All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back at the Orleans today. We're going to go practice with Mike Jazz now. And a very popular PWBA superstar. We'll see who it is in about the next clip. I, I don't know if now is a good time to interrupt because it seems like there's a crisis. But we're going to do it anyways. Cringy. <laughs> Except that's today. That's the same step. We're on the same step. A little timing difference. A little bit. <laughs> We're good. special message, so I wrote secret special message. <laughs> and then this is number one, take right. that, Judd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you gotta take say that. Take that, take that, Judd. <laughs> All right, so here's a little back, not back story, but I'm gonna describe the situation here. I'd like to think I'm one of the best bowlers with early timing. Danielle is the best bowler with late timing. We have similar issues in different ways. And it's up to this guy to, to fix us. I don't know how he does it. You guys see this dinosaur? That's Danielle right now, the dinosaur. <laughs> I'm gonna lay on the approach to that. That, that doesn't look like the face of a... Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. It's the same with all of us. 
There's no exceptions here. Money is a motivator. Okay. I'm going to give her $2 and she can put the 5 into the 7 and leave the other 3 pounds. Are you going to push my hand? Can you push it extra early? Because then I probably can do it. <laughs> oh, I got you. Okay, so 5, 7, I'll just... <laughs> 5, 7, 5 into the 7. Leave the rest. $2. Focus on the process, not the results. Yeah, Those don't matter. This is what we go through to get to where we get to. It's not fun all the time. Most of the time, it's kind of miserable. But things you gotta do to get good at what you wanna get good at. She always fights being late. And right, right now, her being late is, is causing things on the lane she doesn't like. And feel why she doesn't like it. So, you can see the difference in the timing here on step three. The one on the left is the one she liked better. Although, initially, it feels like crap because it's different. Danielle's reaction. Five years to get my ball to where it is today, so she's doing okay. <laughs> That's funny. So we're gonna address the title of this video. Oh geez. Is it better to have early or late time? I think that depends on the person, the type of game. If you're too far out on either side, bad things can happen. You just suck. <laughs> they don't suck, but there'll be more shots you don't like or late. <laughs> I probably did say that. Um, oh, you 100% said that. <laughs> I remember. And with you guys and with, with the top men and women, I, it's not that I'm mean, but I'm not going to say it's good if it's not. Because it doesn't help either one of us. So, it can always be better. Uh, and what you're seeing, I mean, you and Daniel are polar opposites of timing, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Because you hear what I say to her and you're like, I never heard that. I just think that's the dead opposite of what you tell me. Absolutely. And you're both high level bowlers and both successful. But when you're not seeing on the lane that you want, your hands not getting through the way you want, you're probably early, she's probably late. Then you should. So there you have it, just have perfect timing. <laughs> 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 